today, Friday the 20th of October, we're talking about Net Vibes, and that's because Anil had a chance to chat with one of their founders, Tariq Krim, at the Monaco Media Forum. But first, maybe you aren't one of the Lord knows how many thousands of people are now using this service, and you're wondering, Karina, what are you talking about? Well, just one of the niftiest services in the Web 2.0 universe. As they themselves put it, Net Vibes is a super easy way of building your personalized homepage available anywhere, anytime. Mainly, that means organizing RSS feeds and other modules, as they call them, into categorized tabs on your personalized page. You can have news feeds, a daily Garfield comic strip module, a module for your Flickr page, or any of a dizzyingly large number of other options. To start off, Tariq told us how it all started off. And we came with the, the idea of an Ajax start page where you can basically uh, add RSS feeds and drag and drop, pick up, add boxes. Mm -hmm. And the first day we said that this is cool, but maybe we should do something uh, a bit more appealing for the users. And uh, what about putting the Weber? What about putting web notes that was basically online posted? And uh, mm -hmm. what about putting ICA? What about. And one day we say, wow, we have a tool where you can basically subscribe to any service and you can actually manage remotely all the, the your favorite application of your digital life. The idea was to figure out a way to renew the, the web interface. Uh, one of the uh, biggest issues that you have is you spend so much time on many services. And how can you do to have an online summary of your digital life? And you can come check out uh, many times a day. Actually, it's more than many times. We have some users that are plugged in the service 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day? Who's still saying that the internet isn't addictive? Anywho, one of the interesting aspects of this service is the way they've adopted one of the currently popular methods for product development and innovation, which is harnessing the knowledge of the user base. Tariq explains how they came upon the idea in the beginning. We didn't know actually how to, to do things then. The only way to, to do it was to, uh, we decided that we should associate the, 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 our users with us to build the product, so we built the wiki. And in 15 days, the site was translated in 50 languages. We didn't know what to do about it. We started to have requests from every every user telling us how this is how it's going to be. Uh, you should add this, you should add that, you should do that. And we were trying to keep up with the you know the requests from the users. Actually, it's, I think Netvibe is probably one of the first companies totally based on the user request on wikis. I think it's the only way you can do it because you don't have the global knowledge. I mean, our vision of how a start page should be is not your vision, it's not his vision. So you have everybody has a different approach on what is cool for him and that. So what we're trying to do is to propose uh, tools and let people basically build uh, their, their page the way they want. At the moment, they've come out with a new version full of improvements and updates, and of course, they'll be looking forward to a lot of user feedback about bugs. But Tariq also told us about what the future holds for NetVibes. The next big thing for us is that we will uh, uh, push NetVibe in every country use, using the knowledge of uh, local uh, bloggers and evangelists. We have, like, I could show you that we have a live translation tool. Anything on NetVibe can be translated in any language. Any language and not machine translated? But how? Well, apparently they give people in any country who contact them about bringing NetVibes into their own language access to a panel where they can just go through the English part and fill in their own language. Simple solution. That's it for today. Um, until next time, visit the NetVibes blog where they've linked to a really good tutorial that will walk you through setting up your own page. And don't forget the MoBuzz feed. Thank <laughs> you.